Hey guys, it's Mad Friday and welcome to another Goes Mad episode and today I'm going to be going mad in the Death Star again. Well, going mad is a bit of uh, a bit of false advertising really. What I'm going to be doing is firing some Hesh and getting very, very lucky uh, with some penetrations. And this is my highest ever damage scoring game ever so far. And I say so far because I do hope to beat this in the future. Right, as you can see there, um, apart from conspiracy, doing a big jump to my left uh, in his 263. Uh, some of them are shooting me in the ass, and so I need to say a big hi to Air Donkey. Hello, mate. First time we come across each other in a game. Uh, I'm a subscriber to the channel. So it's nice to see you in the game. Right, so here we go. Out on the Sand River, pushing out to his flank. Grizzly's pushing forward to spot. He's got a lot more armour than I do. Well, not a lot more, but armour that works a lot better. And what I'm going to do is sit out of range and just, well, just hope I can stay in render range and try and pen some Hess shells. Right, so E75, you can see I'm holding fire at the minute and I miss and I hit something anyway. Yeah, so as I said at the start, I may be going mad in some of it, but some of the rest of it, I am just getting extremely lucky. So that was a Yag Tiger I hit first. He's probably feeling a little bit sorry for himself. If that did not pen, I'd probably hit him for about six, seven hundred. Right, so now time to pick on somebody else. Who are we going to pick on? IS-8. Bang. Bye bye, IS-8. 1400 damage done. Time to reload again. So as you can see here, nothing really that special about what I'm doing. Playing the TD in the traditional TD style, I'm sitting at a spot in distance and I'm getting the damage done and supporting my team. Fairly boring gameplay actually, but the results are pretty good. Right, so a tougher target now, E100. Or am I going to go for the E100? Yeah, I am. So I need a turret side shot. Bang! Hit him, nearly 1700 damage, and damage his turret ring. And he backs off, he's feeling a little bit sorry for himself now. Right, so who's next? Another IS-8? Hmm, what target to choose? Go for the E100 again, and there you go, you see the limitations of the Hess shells. It's just a high pen HE shell, so if it doesn't pen, you do splash. And if you hit something really thick armor, uh, does not do much damage at all. And your DPM is effectively ruined if you can't get the shots to pen. Very slim shot on that IS-8, and I take it. RNG is on my side. Yeah, so... Uh, I think we hit every shot there. Unintentionally one of them. We've done a fair amount of damage. Here comes someone a little bit tougher. An FV215B. Needs to hit his turret. There's no good hitting his tracks. Bang. 2,000 damage done in one hit. Yeah, like I said at the start. A lot of being damage being done, but not doing anything particularly special apart from, I don't know, maybe you could say my aim is pretty good today. If only I could do this on stream, hey. E75 at range. Didn't pen. Does a sizable amount of damage. Right, so even though I've, oh, I've put out a huge amount of damage so far, we are not winning this game yet. Still a lot of stuff to be done. Oh, full out 5120, please. Please, RNG Jesus. Bang! 1734 damage done. Right, so there's seven enemies left, but unfortunately, that is the last damage I do. From here on, my team is too good, to be honest. I expected the enemy's team to push hard and assault our team. And I would have been 
better off staying here and shooting at the targets for push. But the team are just a bit too good. They now whiz off and pretty much kill everything, meaning I don't do any more damage. So I'm going to speed up the replay here. Alright, so here's the rest of the replay. Uh, pretty much spend the rest of the game waiting for the enemies to push up over there. But they didn't, and my team went and killed them all. Which is going to be so frustrating for me in the results, and I will explain why in a minute. So now I decide to push in a little bit too late, and again, if I'd have pushed in earlier, uh, I would have not been so fr so frustrated with the result at the end. Two of them left, 50B, and I think it's a T62. There's just a 50B left, and I don't get there in time. But did anybody notice what did not happen in that replay? Anyone? Yeah, I did not get spotted the whole game. And I did 9,979 damage. And only got a class 2 mastery. Yeah, class 2. I've mastered this tank with 6,500 damage, but I spotted the whole lot. This game I probably not did not spot one of those targets. And I was getting half points for every single point of damage I did there. And I did 9,979. If I'd have just pushed out a little bit earlier and found one target, either that low health pattern to the right of me, I just needed 21 more damage to complete one of my challenges that I've always wanted to do in this game, which is a five-figure damage game. I was 21 points off. I was blackjack off. Blackjack is normally lucky, but for me, 21 uh, is a really unlucky number. Right, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Goes Mad episode. Uh, please give it a like if you did. Please sub if you're not, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.